app uh, also for a little bit of mindfulness, uh, but more towards your time. Um, I, I forget where I came across this a couple weeks ago, but I've had it running for a little bit. It's called Checky. You can check it out at checkyapp.com. And uh, more or less, it just kind of tells you how many times you check into your iPhone. Um, I actually attended a little bit of a seminar talk a couple months ago i talked about it on the on the good morning podcast um but it talked about like kind of your presence and and how well it was, it was mostly about productivity and it's like mm-hmm. well how much how much do you look at your phone and how much are you maybe addicted to uh, uh looking at twitter or looking at this stuff so this app actually keeps track on how many times you check your phone um, the first couple of days when I tried it, I, I apparently checked my phone about 70 times in a day. Um, I'm up to like 39 for today. Um, so it, it's, it's just kind of a, you know, what are my habits? How, how much am I on this thing? So, uh, but you can check out checkyapp.com and you can tweet it. You can share it. You know, it, it's pretty simple. It, it does like one thing and, and that's about it. Um, but kind of connected to that. And this kind of connects to an ongoing uh, conversation we've been having on some of the other podcasts. Um, Wheels just actually shared this in the chat room. Uh, if you guys want to grab it out there, I'll put it in the document as well. Uh, here, okay, I'll bump that over to you. A Google user treated for internet addiction caused by the device. So apparently, uh, apparently this guy would wear it for up to 18 hours a day, uh, removing it only, only to sleep and watch and cl- complained of feeling irritable and argumentative without the device. Um, skimming through the article, uh, it looks like, you know, we talked about how, um, we didn't think alcoholism was a problem at first too. And, um, and this, this is kind of, again, kind of an ongoing conversation because we've, we've had some discussions that we're actually going to have her on the, uh, journal lifestyle medicine podcast next week, I believe. Um, uh, N- Nancy Rammer, who does a book called get real producer on life is talking about how we watch TV and how we consume all this media and and twitter and everything um so i i thought you know get your thoughts on this you know well first of all do you guys are techies yeah i mean we're obviously like the you know the uh we always often say we're not the normal people we're not the normal people using iphones we're kind of you know chill a test like i don't know how many things Loki, you have like a house of apple products i know from the one time um <laughs> Uh, you know, and I feel like of, of of all the people, we're probably the people that are on technology the most out of those around us. Uh, do you feel a certain course of addiction to it uh, yourselves, or, or do you see other people that do have a problem with this around you? I can... I, I, I certainly think I, I mean I think I can admit that there's some sort of level of addiction there. Um, you know, in some regards, it's uh, you know trying to make sure you're you're kind of connected to everything. I mean, last weekend. Perfect example is, you know, during the Steeler game last weekend, uh, uh, during the debacle last week, um, I, I kind of lose track of the Steeler debacles anymore. But, uh, but it's, uh, it, it, you know, we, we, had a, we had a breaking story that I kind of uh, had a hand in, 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 in exposing the night before. So, you know, the entire time I'm just, I'm checking Twitter at every, at every instance to make sure nobody else kind of stole the story or had any, any information on that. But I, I think there's, there's a general fear of, uh, of, of being disconnected. And I think that's one of the, you know, I, I, I yeah, I, have, I carry two iPhones with me. Uh, I'm at the gym. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on the treadmill. I'm thinking, okay, this is dead. I could sit here and I could pedal or I could look at my phone and check Twitter. And I think that's one of the things that social media has done to me is sort of made me a little more reliant on that, which is, you know, not necessarily a good thing, but, you know, it's sort of the world that we live in. And that's sort of the, uh, the, the, the perils of being, you know, as a job, having to be connected 24 seven being a, a prerequisite. Mm-hmm. Uh, very similar here because, uh, you know, I, as you know, I, I do a lot of, you know, with these shows and with, um, with some clients that I do social media for, I'm always worried I'm going to miss something happened, you know, especially with Twitter. Like one thing I say is like, you know, make sure nobody's out there bashing your product or something. Mm-hmm. Right. So you kind of do have to keep an ear out and there's, there's still the, like check the email, make sure there's not a fire before you go to bed. You know, kind of kind of idea, which is horrible. It's the worst thing you can do. You know, I, don't, I mean, I check I mean, I check my email and my work email. It's the last thing I check before I go to bed. It's the first thing I check in the morning. <laughs> sure. But like, I guess I, yeah. I can't say there are times during the year where where I go camping or something like that. And, and I'm disconnected and I don't feel irritability or pain. <laughs> I mean, but I look at it as 
a utility. It's a, it's a tool I use in my day to day life. Like, like, look, he was talking about and he's on the treadmill and he's looking at Twitter. He's, he's, he's into his craft. And to me, he's using it as a tool in his toolbox. Mm-hmm. There's other people I see that have practically given up on real life and sit on their couch mm-hmm. and their, their whole life and and being is looking at Facebook and looking at Twitter and posting what they ate on Instagram. It's like that, like it, it, to me, like I said, it's a, it's a utility that we use as a tool. Whereas I see other people, it's like, it's cons- they, they have, they're consuming it and it's consuming them. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it's what gives them their status and things like that. It's like, it's the AT and T commercial. The guy got it. The guy got a hundred likes on his selfie, and and like that's what makes his day. Yeah, I, I would rather uh, come to this podcast and interact with people and have a good conversation versus scrolling through Facebook, being more interested in what others are doing. I want to be out there doing. So I could see for those people being irritable and 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 quasi addicted per se. I don't know. That's my two cents. Certainly. <laughs> and there, there can be like, it, it, I think, you know, the, the hundred likes idea, you know, or mm-hmm. I got a like, you know, so, yeah. Oh, somebody retweeted me. It does kind of tickle that. It, it gives you that response. You know, it gives you a, you know, probably has the endorphins, you know, kick in as they say, when you, when you're addicted sure. to something, you know, but, but but do you feel like you failed if you don't get so many likes or you don't get a response? Depends on what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I guess. Like it's... my personal account, you know? Like, yeah. Like, I, I guess. Oh, no, and then I'm also like, like, lately I've been ultra aware of my account thanks to like signing up for something like ThinkUp. But that's mm-hmm. the point is, the, is, is, is a service like that helps you be better at being a Twitter, you know, mm-hmm. or being a social Twitter, or being aware of the things you do do on there, you know. Um, so, you know, and I've been thinking about this too, like, like how much that Twitter, like, like social, le- like it's it's like a layer of social that happens now, and, mm-hmm. and especially our circles because I know you know we're we're very interconnected with our, you know, I always like to say our PodCamp friends, you know, um, and that's where a lot of our socialness is happening. Uh, for me, that's my connection doing that, chatting with Chachi on G Chat or whatever through the day. That's my I don't have a coworker over my right. shoulder, but I also wonder: Are the people that are in the office, instead of talking to their coworker over their shoulder and actually interacting with their coworkers and have a better relationship with them, hopefully, are they just jumping on Twitter instead and say, "Hey, what'd you think about that movie?" Da da da. You know, mm-hmm. um, or it could have been just the people in in the office. So I don't know. It, it's um, it depends on how people are using it. You know, yeah. it, it really just goes down down to that. And even like your, our discussion with uh, uh, Dr. Nancy uh, a couple of weeks ago was even like it's not it, the technology is not bad. It's how some people are using it. The person like I going back, notice like I got my I cut my I cut my glass mm-hmm. off of my glasses this week because I had to go to a wedding. I figured that'd be weird. I love the glasses. The glasses are I, I've been noticing them all throughout the show. And I'm thinking those are fantastic specs. I, I really like those. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> But but they had I had uh, zip ties in, in my Google Glass attached to them up until a few days ago. Um, but you know I was wearing it more, especially as my glasses broke a week ago, and I was just wearing my glass through the week. And well, one problem is okay now I have to like sit by an outlet and charge these, or else I'm you know <laughs> just carry them around for no reason for the rest of the day. Um, but I can see that being a problem. Like I don't think like I wonder what's going to be when I have a watch that if when when we all would when the technophiles like us have watches that are responding to us all day, you know, um, you know, because I, I view it just like a text message or like any other message on your phone. It's, it's another notification. And yes, is it a distraction? Many it's times? another response yes. too, And it's another like, Oh, I got something, you know, mm-hmm. again, like that chemical response of, Oh, okay. Okay. You know, uh, I noticed, um, I, I've been doing an experiment lately. I've been leaving this on do not disturb. Okay. Throughout the day. Um, typically, that also means that like anything important that comes through since I'm on Yosemite and I got the whole uh, convergence thing going on. Um, anybody who messages me will actually come up on my computer. So all that other noise mm-hmm. that comes through on my phone right now doesn't happen. It's been liberating. <laughs> Do you feel like you're more productive or you just. 
Do you feel like you missed anything? Um, no, I don't feel like I've missed anything necessarily. And also, I, I've been also experimenting with like, you know, I, somebody I, I read the other day is like, you know, leaving your email open in a tab all day is a really, really bad idea. And it is. I obsessively check it. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. And nothing changes. And it's just spam. And it's just, you know, I should check it like once every couple of hours. And even like the the times where, you know, over the last week where I'm like, you know, checked it in. It's like. It's it's like ten eleven o'clock and I haven't checked my email yet, you know, which is yeah. like okay, you know that's fine. I, I had a moment over the weekend actually. We we have we have a very buggy Exchange server, uh, so it's not uncommon where I think my 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 password had expired on Thursday, and I never uh, I never reset it. So I and I couldn't reset it from home. I had to do it from work. So I was without work email for about two days, <laughs> and uh, it was kind of nice. I mean, I, I kind of enjoyed that. Uh, but I think, you know, once, once, once we got it going again, you know, I was, I was uh, doing a walking tour of the city of Worcester yesterday for a story we're working on. And, uh, you know, all, th- all throughout the tour, I'm walking with the police chief. I'm talking with them. I keep pulling my phone out. Okay. Any new emails, any new emails? So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it sort of goes back to that addiction thing, but it's also sort of the, the expectation that's been put upon us. And, you know, in, in, in a lot of industries too, that you have to be on call 24 seven. And if you don't return an email within five or 10 minutes, you know, they're going to automatically assume something's wrong or, or you're just ignoring them in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. Uh, let's move on then with that. And let us know, let us, you guys know about, uh, Chachi says, nope, he's just talking with me and to Twitter. So he's not talking to his coworkers. <laughs> That's understandable from what I understand of his situation. Um, tip of the week, you know, this, uh, oh, you got one too. I got one too. You go first. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is, this is an old tip, but, um, I noticed they updated and it was one of those, I was in one of those, I need Photoshop and, 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 and I don't need Photoshop for high end stuff. Typically I'm not, designing a billboard or crazy web graphics or anything like that it's usually like i need to put an image in here for this i need this 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 um you know for for my one job where i don't have access to it where i usually need something like this it's putting the like soft corners on staff Mm -hmm. pictures and and making them transparent in a png so they look good in squarespace this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Do you like professional wrestling? Want your discussions? No holds barred. Check out wrestlingmayhemshow.com for all the wrestling podcast flavor you can handle. <laughs>